Hello guys, today let's talk about array validation in Laravel. So I've been participating in Laracast forum recently pretty actively and I saw that many people have struggled with validating the arrays and their structures in some more complex cases. So I teamed up with my colleague Modestas to write a tutorial about that and with all those cases that tutorial grew so big that it became a course. So the newest course at the moment is about array validation with various cases and in this video I want to read to you the first few lessons so you would understand the problem and some solutions in some scenarios. If you want the full course I will link that in the description below but now let me demonstrate what you can encounter while validating arrays. So the first kind of introductory lesson to that course is a problem that I actually saw on Laracast forum is what if you want to validate the players to be existing as users, for example, in this form, but the user passes the empty array, which means no players and the validation still passes without any error. Why is that? Because if we go back to the rules, we validate asterisk of players, which means we validate the values of the players. They are required, integer, and exists. But what we don't validate, and the solution is this, we don't validate the array itself. So if you want the array not to be empty, you need to specify the array as separate line and only then validate the items of that array. And this is just a simple demonstration of one example from the form, kind of introductory lesson about that course. Now let's take a look at a bit more complex scenario around the same form. So we have, I called it one dimensional array, which means every array item is just user ID and this is our requirement. At least three players must be selected, at least three items in the array, and also players must exist in the database as users. And this is a similar set of rules to the ones that I showed you just a minute ago with added this rule of minimum three. So this is how you would validate the array with rules of three players and then each player as integer, which means that this set of data would fail because number three is not an integer. Also interesting part in the form, how do you keep the checkbox checked after validation error? It's the syntax in Laravel. So there's blade directive checked, which accepts true or false. And our true or false is based on if the ID of the user is in the array of old players, or as a fallback empty array. I think it's a nice syntax one-liner. And then we can use the same in the edit form and in the controller, we have this data if we submit it correctly. So this is also a simple example for one dimensional array. The point here is that you need to validate both array and the items. Now, a bit more complicated example with select dropdowns, which comes down also to array, but with more complex validation. So let's imagine we have a game, we have the list of players and we need to select which place each player took like the first place, the second place and the third place. And here's our validation rule list. Each player has to have a place, so these are all required. And also those places cannot be repeated. So no two users can take first place. How do we validate that? So validation rules are, again, from two parts. So we're validating the array and the array item. And each item, in addition to require an integer, have distinct. This is what validates that no two players take the first place. And also, we can get the maximum players count from the routes. We use route model binding in this case, so we have game as an object, and we can query how many users participate in that game, and we can use that as a variable to min and max. And then if we do that, we have this validation error in case of required, but the problem is it's not user friendly, not front end face friendly validation error. So we can customize that in the form request class by defining a method messages. And for arrays, it's array name, asterisk, and then validation rule name. So in case of required or distinct, we have different validation errors. And this is how it would look. Please select for each place. And in case of distinct validation error, please select a different winner for each place. And then in the same lesson, we show the full code of the form and the controller result if it's submitted. So yeah, these are just a few examples of validating arrays. And if you want the full course, again, the link will be in the description below, which will have multidimensional array examples. So each line would have more than one column, then 
live wire and Vue.js examples for more dynamic forms and a few quick tips that I found on Laracast form. In general, array validation topic sounds really easy, but with different cases, sometimes it may be pretty hard to pick the right validation rule and combine that with all the validation messages and dynamic behavior of like adding new row or deleting a row or something like that. So our goal with this course was to kind of run through all those different cases that we found ourselves. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.